Hello everyone, welcome to Stamping With Ian and uh, a project for you. Uh, last week I was given the surprise commission of 20 Mother's Day cards <laughs> by my wife, one of her colleagues. Uh, apparently they're for a Sunday school to give to uh, the, the children to give to their mothers. So anyway, uh, I can do this video now because obviously Mothering Sunday has gone. Uh, annoyingly, I've not had a good look yet, but Stamping Up doesn't seem to have a Mothering Sunday stamp, which is obviously what we say this side of the pond. You know, we don't call it Mother's Day. Uh, that's an Americanism, which I don't like. <laughs> there, it's out there, I've said it. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I've done a few different ones. Uh, I've got my supplies here for starting off. I've used uh, oval dies, the medium daisy punch, and the sprig punch. The, the sprig punch is pretty much I've used it on all of them actually. And there's some de lovely DSP here. Uh, it's a piece of DSP inside as well. Uh, that's with the stitched oval again. But I've used the medium daisy punch again and the sprigs. Uh, that's using the perennial flower punch and the sprigs and also the uh, tag thing that that one I forget what it's called it's take take your pick something or other anyway yeah and of course the triple banner punch for the flag at the end so that's another daisy one this is the poppy paper uh, this is the magnolia paper uh, no, not no. It's not retired, is it? Is it? But sprigs and and daisy punch, lily pad lake paper, uh, daisy punch again. The sprigs, daisy punch again. The sprigs, and uh, a perennial flower punch and sprigs, and the banner, of course. Different embellishments on each one. <clears throat> uh, there's several of each. You know, there's at least two or three of each one. Uh, to enable me to get to the 20. So, what are we going to do? We're going to have a drink first. <laughs> Just water the throat a little bit. Now, then, let's get let's sort our DSP out. I don't know what this DSP is from. There was a special pack uh, that came with the, I think we could order it with the mini. With the mini trimmer uh, so I'm not quite sure what this paper is but it's lovely uh, <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to knock it down to four inches here like so and then five and three quarters there we go it goes in the bin and five and three quarters with this side as well lovely jubbly Be. <clears throat> got our card base here standard a6 card base eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths uh, scored and folded at four and one eighth have i got a bit of glue on there i have that's annoying <laughs> let's get rid of that lovely jubbly right Get our glue, got uh, my favourite glue for this, liquid glue. Love this stuff. We'll do the inside bit first. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. A bit sticky there. If we stay down here, hopefully I can stay out of the way of it. Where is it? There it is. That'll do. Now for this bit on the front. Um, that's the base done. 
Beautiful. Now I'll come to a bit of stamping. I've got some early espresso somewhere. There it is, because it's, it's a nice dark colour. Say we're using the archival black, which does take a little bit longer to dry. So, happy. A few gentle kisses. Bang it in the middle of the card, like so. Let the ink soak into the cardstock. Beautiful, love, love, love. Close your ink pads. These are metaphorical magnets. You will get your cardstock and fingers in those if you leave them open. Ask me how I know. <laughs> right, uh, die cutting machine. Oh, there we go. Our die is from the stitch shapes uh, set. It's square, square circles and ovals. Lovely set of dies. Put that in the middle. Like no, that's not quite right, is it? There we go. Lovely. Just got my magnetic plate here and two cutting plates. Job done. Recycling. Die goes away. Machine goes away too. There we go. So there's our. Oh, that's on the wonk. Never mind. We'll have to do and um, sponge this with a bit of. Uh, it's like it looks like a melon mambo. So let's sponge it, shall we? Make it pop a little bit, shall we? I've got a sponge here, a red sponge. Stub some ink on. Look at that. Beautiful. Look at the difference that makes straight away. Beautiful. Right, we're going to put some... Uh, put some dimensionals on the back of here. You know, I'm using the edges here. Waste not, want not. And stick that. Level. Let's put some uh, bling on it. So I've got some champagne dots here. Love these. Where's me? Take your pick tour. There it is. This is great. Oh, look at that. A hair. Just picks up. Just picks up your embellishments. Just like that, and you can drop them wherever you want. Lovely. Now then, <coughs> excuse me. Now we need our little flower. Uh, we've got some white cardstock lying around. That's not big enough. That's not big enough either. I think we're going to go for a melon mambo flower, actually, you know. And put that so it's easy to punch out. Just press the ink in. Beautiful. Love, love, love. While that's drying, we'll get some pear pizzazz cardstock. Is it all gone? Oh, 
Yeah, man, I've got some more. Yes. I don't know where. I'm sure I had another piece, you know. <laughs> but never mind. Right, sprig punch. A couple of these. Lovely. Get our flower punch. Beautiful. Now we'll stick these on here with some glue dots. Love these glue dots. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you. And uh, get a dimensional in the middle. And then we'll stick that just about there, shall we? So there we go. There's one I made earlier. There's one we just made together. Hope you've enjoyed this video and thank you for joining me today uh, whatever you're doing have a lovely time and i'll see you again soon bye